<laughs> I was hiding. All right. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Last time, or this time, I just proved that I'm less maturity than that little fucking toddler right there. Uh, but last time, Peter. Who fucking cares what happened last time? I can't even keep a straight face with my ADDS. We have Slizzlepede, which can I punch bugs? Ah, oh, fuck me. And one weakness. No, it makes sense when you think about it. Like, if I, like, want to touch a bug, I get all, like, squeamish and, like, <laughs> So it's like, I get why you wouldn't want to touch it. Like, it surprises me why, oh, uh, like, whole bug, fire bug type hasn't been done before. And before you say, Actually, in Gen 5, there's that one flying, disgusting moth-looking thing. That doesn't count, because you have to go inside those fucking, like, runes of Alpha, or whatever the hell it was, to get it, and it sucked. So, I'm not counting that. That's mean, like, a random-ass thing I can find on a route. Daughter. Dottler. You're the bug. Yep. Also, shout-out to... Or, no, you're not electric. You're psychic. I was gonna say. I was gonna say shout-out for having two generations in a row where there's a bug electric Pokemon, but no, you're psychic. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. It just, they look so similar. I'd swear. Every year there's a bird, and every year there's a bug, and they all are, like, exactly the same. Except for the birds. Some years they're like, okay, the birds are actually useful. And other years they're like, don't ever touch these things. This is one of those years. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't used it. So, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Super Potion, lovely. But I think the last good bird was uh, Town Flame. I don't think anyone can really dispute me on that one. Are you gonna heal? Yeah, that's what we like. Let's check out on our Pokemon. We haven't really done this yet. So, right now our team is really consisting of Rule 34. Alright, let's just. Okay, well, we gotta get... We are not putting Tebe next to Purbo. Okay, that didn't do anything. I will take the sacrifice and be next to Purbo. So right now, it's looking like Rule 34, Obliterate, and Rail, Radex, and these are just our, um... Others. I'm gonna give the Silk Scarf to Radex, because I think you have something, and... We don't need these, so don't worry about that. And I'm wasting time here, but I'm just doing this for myself. No, fine. You don't have a single. F okay. <laughs> Give me it. Alright, <laughs> well, Silk Scarf will stay in my bag, and Radex will stay third in my party. Welcome to the Gallery Mine, which looks almost identical to the one in, um, Palos. Lovely. Oh, I thought he was grinning. I thought that was a big-ass grin, but no, it's just his beard, like, forming because of his jawline. That's funny. I thought it was like a, <sighs> his mouth was wide open. Rock and roll -a. Uh, this puts me in a really bad situation because I can't kick it. I guess I can. What the fuck am I saying? That's the only thing I could do. Jeez. What a terrible uh, ability to have. I've used Quick Attack, but I don't know if it'll kill, so we'll just go for the- Okay, yeah, I'm faster. Hmm, 
looks like we were insane. Dude, they couldn't even, like, put enough polygons for your fucking mouth. Like, oh my god. Why wouldn't you just texture that? People who, like, defend... Okay, it's like, I still think this is a fun game, don't get me wrong, but if you try to defend this game, like, on any technical aspect, then that just proves you're one of those, like, fucking either Nintendo or Pokemon dick suckers. I don't got time for that shit. Anyway, up here... If you got the roly coly, then there you go. Oh, hello, girl. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. Okay. Whoa, Georgia! Look at your hair. You kind of look like, uh, On from Persona 5. A game I will never let's play because it take too damn long. This is coming from a guy who tried doing one on Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and didn't even finish Uriah. After 33 episodes. I want to come back to that series. But if I'm being honest, the one thing that is totally putting me off from, like, returning is just, like, that is a game where if you do not master that battle system, you have a total disadvantage, and I have not played that game in so long, and so, I don't know. If I have to get a mini shout-out, not like it matters, because no one watches this, um, one of my <laughs> biggest YouTube inspirations, Charlie Connor, I just, oops, just started, uh, Let's play that game, and I've been watching it. So, is it me or... Okay, hopefully that did something. Sorry if the quality looked like shit earlier. No, it still does. Just everything looks super light. Like, white saturated. Oh well. Anywho, um, I've been watching him play it, and so maybe I will try and go back and play it, and record it, and maybe we'll even get to more Ardain! But, you know, it's got a lot on my plate right now, so. How many fucking shit, what do you have? I will switch. Put an obliterate, he's a lower level now. I really don't want this, like, creepy-ass-looking Mr. Mime on my team, but... <laughs> oh, no. Should've done that a while ago. I mean, it's good, and it's psychic... What? Ice? It's technically psychic ice, I think. And also, it's fairy-type moves, and it's like... Oh. Every reason I have to get rid of it, it's giving me reasons to not get rid of it. And right now, it's in the lead, so things aren't looking too good. Oh, why the hell do I have to find a little bastard? Scary face! Okay, it's here. Okay, I just wanted to check. We continue on this path. Drill Burr! Oh, and it's gonna despawn. Oh, it already despawned. I don't know, did it like fall through the bridge or something? Working women are good at Pokemon battles too. You know, I didn't think that. I always thought working women, no fucking way, they suck at Pokemon. But, you know, I'm glad she ended that stereotype. Alright. About to obliterate that Diglett. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. I hate it! I hate it! Its name is Obliterate, which is a cool name, because it obliterated me, and now it's obliterating everyone because I have it, and I... It's, look how fucking stupid it is. Look at that dumb little drill bird. It's a little cute buddy and I... Go... Oh, eh, okay. Alright, well, at least it didn't one-shot that. Look at his shoes! I hate everything about this Mr. Mime. 
And yeah, it's probably gonna be on my fucking team. I hate this. No part of me is having any enjoyment from this. But it's good, so I'm not just gonna throw it out. It's like eating, like, chocolate cake. Like, it's not good for you, but you know what? The last thing I'm gonna do is, like, put it down. Diglett, Woobat, if you want them, they're there, and... What is this? Okay. I am battling all the trainers I see. And the only reason for that is because I don't ever battle the Pokemon. Like, when I played, the only reason I battle one would just be to catch it for my first time. But, like, if there's no random chance, then I just won't run into them. Unless they run into me or it's accident. So, this is my way of, I guess, grinding or leveling up. I mean, don't get me wrong, the game is so easy, and with how many, you know... XP candies and rare candies you're gonna get, like, it's, you're, you'll be fine. I was way over fine when I uh, beat the game, and I had plenty more candies to go. Sorry, Russell Crowe, but that's just the way it goes. I thought that bucket there was a Pokeball, and it made me stop in my tracks. This is actually a Pokeball. And look who it is. Coming this way, I devise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating for me and my Pokemon. Ooh, this is our warning to heal, and I know my little baby rule 34 could certainly use it, and that's it because we will not struggle with this at all. You, you're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. Are you aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond a doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. This is Pokemon Trainer B. Not Bay Day or BB or any of that. And also, it is a he, before you ask. B. Well, we're not going to use Confusion. I guess we'll use Dazzling Gleam. Okay, damn. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine. That's all. That you are. That you are. Oh, fuck you, Bead. Come on, Mr. Mime. I will never say anything bad about you and your fatigue ever again. Hatana! If I had you, I'd call you Rule 34, but I don't. And I probably won't. I think you're also exclusive to Pokemon Shield. No, you're not. I've seen you before. I just don't know how to evolve you. Because I got your evolved thing through Surprise Train. I remember that. And there are a few Virgin, uh... Virgin? <laughs> there are a few Virgin exclusives, which... I'm not going to mention, because if I'm being honest, I probably don't know, but they exist. Alright, that's two down, one to go. And Obliterate isn't confused anymore, because we switched out to Wait, no, I don't want to put in Obliterate. Oh dear, what have I been doing? Well, whatever, let's just get this over with. Okay, feed. I love how uh, Game Freak says, I don't like making jerk rivals anymore. So then that's how we got... 
But it's dark. It's fucking not dark. <laughs> um, okay, if I'm being for real, I want the XP. I thought it's dark. Was it dark psychic? Okay, either way... I can still use Dazzling Gleam. And it'll probably use... Yep, I, okay. That's what I thought. You fell right into my trap, you stupid bitch! And this is exactly why I always check off no when they say, Is this video for kids? But no, I was saying, I love how they always want, um, friendly rivals now. And then they fucking give us B, who is the biggest jerk rival of this series, I have to say. Like, oh, it's, I, it's like, I don't know, I find it funny. Flame charge! I'm trying to get something fucking better than, uh, Ember. That's a physical. I mean, yeah, we'll get rid of. We're gonna get rid of Growl. I never use that shit, so... No reason to keep both. We'll only have Ember just in case uh, I want to save PP. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. I'm sure you weren't. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your ba battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Okay, don't know what wishing stars had to do with that, but over here... is a bag of stardust, which I guess... Be kind of missed that one, Bead. And out of the cave takes us to... Round four, and you're gonna heal my Pokemon. Remember when she, the other sister was saying, "Me and my little sister." Well, here she is. How nice. Well, we can already see the stadium right there, and Route Four is honestly a straight shoot unless you decide to go through the uh, different patches on the right and left of it, which we will do because why not? So next time on Pokemon Sword, we're gonna make our way to Turfield and. We'll stop along the way, smell the roses, and catch some Pokemon. So we'll see you then.